Hi, I'm Matthew. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. I'm going to wet the face. Well, how are you guys doing? Today, we're going to be doing a shade video. And uh, it's that time of year, so I'm going to break out the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Malbouge. That's why I don't want to pronounce it. This is one of my favorite scents. You guys know, if you've been watching the channel, I highly enjoy tobacco scented shade soaps. So I will do, uh, this is probably going to be a little longer video because I wanted to do kind of a little bit more in-depth uh, informational thing on how, to, how I make my lather. And so I just use a quarter of a teaspoon and uh, I will just take and just kind of scrape that soap until it's full. And if whenever it gets too full, just scrape off the top. And uh, that's what I'm going to have. So then I'm just going to take that and scoop it out with my finger. And I'm just going to use a stainless steel bowl. And I'm just going to rub that in the bottom. This is the CK6 formula of this soap. So it does use a little bit more water. I'm going to be using this PAA brush. So I'm just going to squeeze the water out and kind of give it a little shake. This is a uh, PAA brush, and I'm going to say this is Peregrino. It's a 26 millimeter knot. And so since there's, you know, just a little bit of moisture in there, what I'm going to do is kind of start to lather it. And you're going to see right away there's really nothing happening. It's getting uh, kind of sticky in there. So what I do is I just went down to my local pharmacy and asked for a medicine dropper and this has 10 milliliters of water and so I will put three in there right away so that takes it down to the seven in the dropper <clears throat> and then you're just gonna kind of start doing the lather again and sometimes you'll notice when you're doing this it'll start getting kind of sticky looking in there right in there see yeah so after you do that for a few seconds i'm going to add three more milliliters of water and this is going to vary uh, a little bit with depending on what kind of water source you have if you've got hard water soft water well water it's going to change a little bit so this method works for me and it may not work for you and uh my preferences are probably going to be a little different than than yours so if you like it thick or runny or just right there in between where it's about to bloop off you stop when you're happy so that's what i've got i'm going to go ahead and place the other three in there and uh, usually for me it seems like 13 milliliters is what i like uh, that, that, like I said, that soap is a year old, so it's had a little bit more time to cure or mature. Um, and I don't think that really matters too much because the soap itself is not really in an airtight container, but it's not going to lose a whole lot of moisture. And so here's what we're kind of looking at. And, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Of course, you know, it's going to have a little bit of air bubbles in it. I'm going to go ahead and stretch that out a little bit and I'm going to grab three more milliliters of water and I'm going to call that good once I add that in there. I like mine a little bit wetter because whenever I do the pre-shave, uh, you know, that soap hasn't lathered up at all and so your face is going to be a little bit drier and the whole name of the game is to not let the lather dry out on your face. And so sometimes I'll go through and actually sp splay that brush a little bit just so whatever soap is deep down in those bristles is 
is getting um, equalized with the rest of it. And if you want to, you can just take it on the side of the bowl and kind of help pull the rest of that out and then go back into to lathering. And depending on how much you want to create, um, you can get big air pockets in there and everything else. But it normally doesn't take me very long, but I'm just kind of going a little bit slower just so I can kind of give you guys an idea of what I do. Do you guys bowl lather, face lather, or puck lather your soap? All right, I'm going to call that good enough for me. Let's see here. There's what it looks like. And since I've been yapping, I'm going to wet the face one more time. And apply my pre-shave, which is just glycerin soap. I do have three days worth of growth. Kind of work that in a little bit. And uh, today's razor is going to be the Henson razor on steroids. Okay, so I'm revisiting the Henson razor. I know you guys saw that last week, um, but... If you can see there, it doesn't have a whole lot of blade gap. And so I kind of wanted to just see, um, let's see, I'll put a, pic, a little animation right here where they're talking about multiple settings that you can have on like a quarter turn, half turn, full turn. But uh, I decided let's go old school and increase the blade gap with a shim. Now I 3D printed mine. So I'm adding 0.3 millimeter. I'm using a new feather blade. Let me get this dude out of the package with those massive glue dots. And I'm gonna set that handle down here. So there's the blade. Gonna add the shim. And then the bottom plate. And we're gonna put the handle back on there. And just kinda make sure that it's all snug down. There's a little bit of tension on the aluminum threads, but I think she can handle it. All right, so here we go. Now, can you see the difference? Probably not. There's quite a bit of difference there. <laughs> I'll just say that much. All right. Let's put the lather on and get to shaving. Oh, yes. I love this smell. I debated on ordering another set of this because uh, they just released it. Uh, I think it was on Saturday or maybe Friday. I, don't, I can't remember. So I use this soap sparingly because I know <laughs> once you order it, you're going to not have it if you consume it all too quickly. I guess I'm a conservative. All right, let's warm the razor up. I did email uh, Henson and I wanted to see if they would tell me what the blade gaps were on the mild one versus the medium that's the one I have and the aggressive which is the titanium and man this is an excellent shave the one reason why I'm kind of doing this is because after I had shaved with it the first couple times I had noticed that my shave wasn't super close which I never chased the baby butt smooth because I just do two passes. But I uh, noticed that just feeling the stubble that was on my face, it seemed to grow back quite quickly compared to some of my other razors. And so I thought if it would have a little bit more blade gap, maybe it might give a closer shave. <clears throat> And 
and spoiler alert, I have used this, so I, I already know the experience of it, but it is very pleasurable compared to the stock. I can't imagine what the mild would actually be like. I will say that I do like this razor. I just uh, felt it needed a little bit more than what it was. And I understand not everybody likes an aggressive razor. And some people don't mind chasing that baby butt smooth. And they may do three, four, five passes. But I just, I don't know. I just feel like if you can get it done in one or two passes, that's the way to go for me. Because I'm thinking every time that blade goes across your face, it's scraping skin, you know. And then if you had sensitive skin, probably not a good combo. Let's go ahead and apply the lather for the second pass. Yeah, this tobacco smell is like a very nice pipe tobacco and when I mention that I'm not talking about when it's actually lit but like if you're pulling it out of the package is what that's what it smells like to me so let's go ahead and grab this lather here show you what that looks like just get what is in the brush out and I say that's pretty good So one of the things that I did do on the uh, the other shaves is I did try a feather blade versus the Astra blade that came with it, and that did you know improve the shave a little bit because the feather is nice and sharp. But I felt like it needed just a little more. Have you guys heard of people shimming a razor? One of the uh, ways that you could do it if you're wanting to entertain this idea. And uh, by all means, this is at your own precaution. So if you do something wrong and you cut yourself or you have a terrible shave, <laughs> that is not on me. So some of the uh, people in the past would take a used blade and then they would just take a regular pair of scissors and cut that sharp, the cutting edge off quite a bit back a little bit farther. And then they would just try one, which I can't remember right off the top of my head. Let's see here. I know that a lot of the blades are like three to nine thousandths thickness but if you were to just take this and cut it um right kind of right in there and just make that equal on both sides and then you could stack that up but as far as millimeter wise i'll put right here what uh the blade thickness is in millimeters <clears throat> so if you wanted to get 0.3 millimeters you're going to have to have a few different blades I have some cold water in a bowl. And I'm going to do a cold water rinse. It smells so nice. I can't wait for the aftershave. This soap is one of the soap uh, scents that I got the matching star jelly in. I need to get the ice. 
I'm so excited. I almost forgot. That is definitely a closer shave and it's still quite smooth. And my shave did last me quite a bit longer. Got the black sheep towel by Lancaster. Yeah, uh, just the, the stock setting. By about three o'clock, I was already getting the seven o'clock shadow. Or would you call it the five o'clock? I don't know. I was getting a shadow. I could feel it. It didn't feel like I had shaved, you know, quite the same. And so here we go. Let's get the matching splash. And this one does have the glass restrictor. Perfect. Oh, man. Every time I smell this, I'm like, I, should, I need to get more. It's like little bits of cocaine in there or something. That's probably not a good joke. All right. So we're going to use the star jelly. I did forget to bring that down here for the matching. Yeah, save that for later. Wow, what a shave. Henson, if you're watching this and you want to test out a new razor that's more aggressive, please send that to me and I will let you know. Let me know if you guys have tried uh, any kind of shimming or if you've heard of it. Comment below and let me know. I need to take a picture and put them side by side to show you the difference. So there we go. The Henson Razor on steroids. What a pleasurable shave. I'm just going to take this apart real quick. Pull the shim out. And my feathered blade and put it back together if you guys want to see a comparison shave between the winning razor and the Henson let me know I did polish this one up so it looks really nice Okay, well, thanks for sticking with me, guys. I appreciate all the new subscribers and the returning subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, consider it, or you may miss out on some fu future, future videos. Well, you guys have a great shave, and I'll see you on Will It Shave Wednesday, or not, because I may not do a shave video on Wednesday, so I'll see you guys later.